What does this do for the families who use egg donors? It's, it's, it's incredible because they come to you um, uh, tired, you know, um, e exhausted financially and emotionally, drained, and all of a sudden it brings life back to, you know, to its full meaning. Now they're, they're, they're pregnant, they're expecting, they're, they're a family. They can turn a whole chapter um, over and just move on with their lives. So um, it's amazing. You know, what some people will choose to keep that to themselves and just let us know they're happy, they're pregnant, they move on. And some people are willing to share that, you know, and uh, with other women that are struggling. We always discuss this. You see it in the media when it comes to surrogacy. It's a trend. It's hip, it's cool, you know. Every other celebrity has done it, but when it comes to egg donation, it's such a still such a taboo subject that people are not, you know, coming forward with it. For women trying to make this decision, the idea of an egg donor is sort of an abstract idea. Tell me about these women, these young women. You have these young, um, talented, beautiful, college-educated women. Um, they are full of life and um, they want to give back. Um, they understand, most of them do understand what, what the process is all about. Um, the compensation is always helpful. You know, a lot of them are college students, like I said, they have loans and whatnot. Um, but it's never the main reason they do this. They come to us with such a rich background, either, you know, a family member that went through this struggle, I've had, you know, a few times that had actually donors that their mom used a donor to conceive them, which was amazing. And they were so thankful that because of a donor, now they're here and they have such a wonderful mom like theirs. So they want to get back and become donors as well. What do you see the future? of egg donation looking like? The more people talk about it, the more they come out and, you know, and talk about the struggle and, and the process and how someone else helped them and reach out. It's all in educating people. It's all in understanding what the process is all about. Um, I think that's the main issue here. Are people take the idea and just, you know, can't do it. It's not natural. You're not meant to have children. You can go and adopt. And, you know, it, you don't know, I mean, every, every intended parent that come to us comes with a story, comes with a struggle. This is not the first option they have, you know. They have gone through their own IVFs, they have tried adoption, they have tried a family members, and it's this and how it changed, you know, life. You just, nature sometimes need a helping hand, and that's what we're doing.